So, on the instructions, it actually says that if there's any play in the light, that you should use the original O-rings off of the halogens and add them to it. I've experienced this on a passenger side, actually driver side LED, so I'm going to do that right now. One in. Okay. So I'm going to use my fingernail, but pop off this O-ring here. Drop it off. Let's get this on here. So I'm not sure if they meant to stick it on top of the other O-ring or whether we should put it inside of the uh, on the inside of the LED, but let's see if we can even get it to stay there. No, it doesn't stay there. Let's try moving it all the way down. It's not very pretty, but it is on. Yeah. Let's give this a shot and see if the play going away. Oh yeah, that did it. Play is completely gone. I don't know if you can good. see in here, but I'm moving it. It's not moving at all. So let's Perfect. check the other side again. So the other side has a little bit of play, not quite as bad. It's yeah. Still rocking going on. So we're gonna do the same thing to this side. Let's pull this one out. Press this so that the LED's not touching anything. And also not in danger of falling. Let's pull this other O-ring off. Oh, there we go. Lost it. Oh, there it is. I thought we lost it down in the engine bay. Yeah, that would have been bad. Ooh. The halogen took a hard fall onto the ground. See, I'm using gravity to make sure that I don't touch the LEDs themselves. You don't want to destroy or shorten the life of it because you got some human finger oils on it. Yeah. Backwards. Human finger oils. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. No play whatsoever. Yeah. I have to force it to move. All right. So that was adding that in. Turn it off. 